Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. As you can see, we are in front of my desktop machine. This is a Windows 11, can be Windows 10, Windows 8, or can be a laptop as well. So I'm going to show you my hard drive. This is my C drive. And as you can see, the size is 240 gigabytes and I need more space. I want to add more games, more virtual machines to do more testing or any other thing that you may like, okay? But I, I need a bigger hard drive. So for that, I'm going to use this uh, Samsung 940 Pro NVMe SSD. I'm going to use Samsung software for this video. So if you have other brands that is not Samsung and you can click on the top right of this screen for that video where I use another software for cloning, okay? So in this one, this one is two terabytes, can be any size, doesn't really matter. And it also works for, um, this, this process is also for any other Samsung products like the 2.5 inches and the 970 EVO plus, okay? so. Since um, we have this, uh, you can see how the, S the NVMe looks like. So we are going to do that in this video. So uh, the other thing we are going to need is an adapter and an NVMe SSD to USB 3.0 or above. As you can see, this is the one I have. If you have another, you can use it as well. And the way you install it is like this. It has a screw at the bottom and then you add it like this very gently. And that's pretty much it. Then you uh, secure the screw one more time. I'm going to leave the link in the description below for the hard drive and for the uh, for the adapter, okay? Now, you connect it to any available port, USB port, make sure that it's 3.0 or above, otherwise it's going to take a, a longer time. So what software now we're going to use? Since, like I mentioned, we're going to use Samsung software, and this is the one that is free from Samsung, Samsung Magician. Okay, so this only works for Samsung uh, hard drives. So keep that in mind. So where do we download this one? I'm going to show you right now. We open a web browser and we go to this link. I'm going to leave the link in the description below as well. And you scroll down over here and you're going to see the different versions for Windows, Mac or Android. As you can see, it's, as of the making of this video, it's version 8.1 and 300 megabytes. So it's not that big. It's very light, so you can download it and then simply install it. Let's go back to the software. And here at the uh, on the left, we, we go to data migration because that's what we are interested in. And as you can see right away, it's going to show me my, uh, my C drive where Windows is installed. Then the destination, you uh, we're going to select the two terabyte Samsung SSD. We click that and as you can see, it looks like this. Now we are going, we have the source and the destination and we are going to click start over here and it's going to give us this message when cloning starts all data on the destination is going to be deleted which makes sense right uh, in my case uh, the two terabytes ssd is new so it doesn't make a difference to me now the process is going to start and while we're waiting this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet that really helps my channel a lot so thank you thank you very much now how long it takes is going to depend on how how much data you have the, if you are using USB 3, USB 2 to connect the adapter and how fast your machine is, okay? So uh, I'm going to stop the video here and come back when it is almost done. Welcome back. As you can see, it is at 99%, almost done. It took around four minutes because I didn't have much data on my old SSD. Now, when the process has completed, it says data migration is completed successfully. Next, we're going to close the software and we can see we have an extra partition in my PC, partition D of two terabytes. Now we have to shut down the machine, whether it is a desktop or a laptop, for the replacement. Allow me to, a few seconds to adjust my camera and this is my machine. Yours obviously is going to look different. Maybe it's a laptop. I'm going to disconnect the adapter, as you can see over here. I know, I know, I, have a, I don't have cable management at all here. <laughs> I know that. So now uh, in a quick glance, I'm going to show you that I'm going to remove some parts. I need to remove the video card to access the SSD. So I'm going to do that and come back when that's done. Now, as you can see, we, we now see the SSD. I'm going to remove it. This is a Corsair 400, 240 gigabytes. And I'm going to replace it by the, the new Samsung two terabytes uh, NVMe SSD. So I'm going to add the screw and I'm going to put everything together. And it's going to look like this again. So th this is the one that we remove. Now everything is connected and I'm going to turn it on. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. The first time you boot it after you have cloned your hard drive and replaced it, it might take longer than, than normal. And um, now we are in the Windows um, login screen. I'm going to log in here. 
And now I'm going to go to this PC or my PC. I, I always forgot what it's called in different versions of Windows. Uh, this PC, as you can see, the new C drive is two terabytes. So we have replaced it. We are booting from it, from it, and now it's working. Now with your old hard drive, the two for the 240 gigabytes, you can have it as a backup for a few weeks if something fails, or you can add it for more space, right? So that's how it is done. Maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always as you know i'll see you in the next video